Hello, everyone. My name is Masha Bertskaya. I'm the founder and director of GCI Planet. Hello, everybody. My name is Angelika Stinovson, the founder of SHARE Initiative and the SHARE Group. We gather here today, all of us, in support of children and women of Ukraine. During these most challenging and frightening days of the war. And we are inviting you right now to join us in this benefit concert, You for Ukraine, in which some world-renowned virtuosos from Ukraine and other countries have come together to support the people of Ukraine, to demand peace, to stop the war. Music is the most powerful tool to unite and heal, and this is what is needed right now more than ever. We all want the same, peace, safety for our children, ourselves, our relatives, our friends. The war is never the answer, but the last frontier, the last frontier to humanity, unless all of us together, together we have a chance, a chance for tomorrow. From the beginning of the war with some of our partners, such as Tikva, Global Empowerment Mission, and Tikviv, we have helped evacuate more than a thousand children from Odessa and other cities in Ukraine, as well as providing humanitarian help. But there are much more lives to save, and they need help right now. We encourage you to please make a donation, all of which goes directly to Ukraine, to Ukraine orphanages, children that are orphaned, women and children refugees, to provide them with transportation, shelter, and the much needed medical care. The concert lasts an hour, but the need is ongoing. Please donate now, save more lives. You can find the donate links in the QR code, as well as the, as the information about our mission and our beneficiaries. Hello, we are the children of Tikva. Thank you, GCI Planet and Share and everyone who is helping us and for your support. We want peace. And it is our great honor to open this benefit concert with the Ukrainian-born, accomplished, multi-award-winning violinist Salamir Ivahev, who was recently named Honored Artist of Ukraine, her native country's highest cultural honor. She is an artistic director at the Ukrainian Institute of America in New York City. She's performed at such prestigious concert halls as Carnegie Hall, CBS Glenn Gold Studio, American Concert Hall, and at many more iconic music venues all around the globe. She will perform with a quintet of remarkable virtuosos. Alex Shozaki, violin. Alex Fortex, violin. Stephanie Griffin, viola. Michael Haas, cello. Peter Weisner, bass. More information about each of these incredible artists you can find on our website or using this QR code. Today, they will perform a piece written by famous Ukrainian composer Miroslav Skorik, Melody. I'd like to express my gratitude to the worldwide community of musicians for bringing awareness 
to Ukrainian culture and for supporting Ukraine and Ukrainian people. Now we'll perform for you a second national anthem of Ukraine melody by Miroslav Skorek. We're so grateful to everyone who has come here today with us to support our mission, to support the children and women of Ukraine. This virtuoso musician, an icon and inspiration for many of us all around the world, doesn't need any additional introduction. All Demiola, with his video message and his amazing performance for you, for Ukraine. Hi, this is Aldi Miola. The world is watching in horror at the deluge of bombings from Russia into the sovereign nation of Ukraine. 
This message is to focus on the lifelong impact it has on the children there. We've been in shock watching the destruction of buildings, many of which innocent children have lived and are now left homeless. Some leaving with their mothers as refugees while their fathers stay behind to fight. Others have died needlessly. It's very difficult to watch. We've witnessed hospitals, some of them children's hospitals and maternity wards targeted. The humanity of surrounding countries like Poland, Hungary, Romania, Germany, and others show the kind of support and empathy these refugees need. But we need more. Kuzma. Now we are happy to invite right here to the studio our next artist, a Ukrainian American singer, Taryn Kuzma. She's featured soloist in many international festivals and concert series with a versatile repertoire from classical contemporary to musical theater and Ukrainian folk music. Taryn is also an accomplished instrumentalist on the 55th Strength Ukrainian Bandura. She is founding member and a current concertmaster of Women's Bandura Ensemble of North America. Please meet Taryn Kuzma. This is a song written by refugees. This song is dedicated to the over 3 million Ukrainian refugees that have fled Ukraine. Please donate, write to your representatives, do what you can to help stop this war.
Anusha Tsipian is from Yerevan, Armenia. She is 15 years old. She has come here today to play two traditional Armenian instruments, doll and duduk. But in fact, Anush actually plays about 20 musical instruments. She is a multiple Grand Prix and first prize holder of various international competitions and festivals. Please meet Anusha Tsipian with her message of peace and her amazing performance. My name is Anush Hovsepian. I am 14 years old. I am from Yerevan, Armenia. We, children of Armenia, stand with the children of Ukraine. We demand to stop the war. We deserve peace. We deserve to live. One more amazing artist who is joining us today in this concert for you for Ukraine doesn't need any introduction either. Her name is Gloria Estefan, Estefan. and um, you know her name has has been meaning the world for so many people, and uh, it also has association with freedom, and that's why her support means today. the world to us. Exactly. Thank you, Gloria. And to Ukrainian people. Thank you, Gloria. Hi, everyone. I'm Gloria Stefan in total support for this amazing concert, You for Ukraine, that's going to help get some kids out of danger and help as many children as possible. So whatever you can donate, please do. I feel privileged and honored to be here lending my solidarity to this amazing organization that is doing wonderful things for the suffering people of Ukraine. I'm Gloria Stefan. Let's all dig deep. Ryan Brams is an American singer songwriter, producer, and multi-instrumentalist, billboard charting recording artist who hails from New York City. His uplifting record, Superman, 
was released during the COVID pandemic alongside a music video to pay respect and love to all those frontline heroes fighting in that battle. Today, we're here because of another war, another battle for life and for freedom. Only together, we can achieve anything we can dream of. And only together can we heal. I've made big mistakes Mistakes get made along the way Now I'm in this road In the car alone And I don't even have a suitcase This 11-year-old violin prodigy, together with his mom, had to leave everything in Kiev and run to save their lives, to run away from bombing and shelling. Despite his young age, Karnei Sheldonov is a true artist by all means, a winner of most prestigious international competitions as both a violinist and composer. Here he is, delivering a message and performing his own composition. Hi, my name is Karnei Shodunov. I'm Ukrainian violinist. I'm from Kyiv, but my native city is Kharkiv. Now 
both Kiev and Kharkiv are bombarded by Russian army. My beloved Kharkiv is almost totally destroyed. I had to look for a shelter in France. Now I am safe. But a lot of my family and friends are not. Please, stop the war. It's too terrible. Hi, it's Dionne Warwick, and I just want to ask you to give support. Support to all those people who are suffering in the Ukraine. You for Ukraine is a very, very important thing to support. We're going to be helping to save the lives of babies, children, elderly, and families. What's happening there is horrible, and we can do something about it by supporting. So please, give and love and support Ukraine. Thank you. JC Maylard, it is my absolute pleasure and true honor to have him here in our studio today. JC is an accomplished French composer, singer, multi-instrumentalist and arranger from the Caribbean. His music, will say much more than any words of accomplishments and prayers can do. But I can't help myself from saying that JC is an amazing true artist with an amazing true heart. Tell me where to begin I am weary and lost Many lines have been crossed Faith about to give in And myriads call in But it's still not enough Cause we need more love We need more love
it all but a show living large but empty Should we burn our fields and forget what we know Cause we need more love the world to me to be able to introduce my partner in this venture, my dear friend, and someone I hold in high regard. I call her my kindred sister. Masha Brodskaya is a Grammy-nominated artist, a multi-instrumental composer, a producer. She's a VR and neuroscience music pioneer and innovator. She's an entrepreneur and the winner of the Independent Music Awards. Today, she will perform the song that she wrote specifically for today's concert that has me crying all day long. And for her beloved Ukraine and all the people of Ukraine. She literally wrote it two days ago, recorded it yesterday, all night in the studio, and now she performs it here today, right now. I was born in Russia and I grew up in Ukraine. This is the country where I lived most of my life the country that has made me who I am today. I consider it to be my country. I can't explain everything that I've been feeling about what's going on over there. This malady has been haunting me from the beginning of the war. And finally, two days ago, I got myself to write the piece and yesterday I recorded it in the studio. And now I'm going to perform it. The song I wrote for my country, Ukraine, and for my people.
Nathan Jiang is a 17-year-old pianist. He's coming to us from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Nathan is a laureate of multiple international competitions. He has performed solo and with orchestras all across the United States, as well as many other countries. He's here to support peace in Ukraine. Please welcome Nathan Jiang. Hello, my name is Nathan Jiang. I come from the United States of America. I'm 17 years old and I come from the city of Philadelphia. I extend my well wishes and prayers to the children of Ukraine. I empathize with their plight and suffering in these tough times. I'll always keep them in my hearts and prayers and I will always support their cause. We stand with the children of Ukraine. We are the one, we are the love. It is absolutely a pleasure to invite to this stage an internationally awarded clarinetist, Alexander Bedenko. He has performed with major conductors of leading orchestras, ensembles, festivals in the United States, Europe, as well as Asia. Alexander has performed at such iconic venues as Carnegie Hall, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, UNESCO, the Steinway Hall of New York City, the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C., and many others. Alexander Bodenko was born in Ukraine, Kharkov, and graduated from Curtis Institute of Music in Philadelphia. Today, he will perform Bach. My name is Alexander Bodenko. I was born in Ukraine, in the city of Kharkiv. I never thought I would leave to see my hometown being bombed and ruined. I never thought I would leave to see my fellow Ukrainians millions of them live in the country as refugees. On behalf of my family, on behalf of my Ukrainian people, I would like to thank you all so much for your support, for your solidarity, for your love and care. Please consider to continue helping Ukraine, its children, men and women. Donate whatever you can. Every dollar matters. It will help to buy, to buy food, medicine. It will get us 
closer to end this nightmare. Thank you so much for watching us. Thank you for standing on the right side of the history with us, with Ukraine today. Thank you. My name is Bogdana Tilnenko. I am from Kyiv, Ukraine. I am concert violinist and I am professor, head of violin department at the National Music Academy of Ukraine. I have many students and some of them from different cities, for example, Kharkiv or Severodonetsk or Irpin, Bucha, and they lost all after Russian star bomb as we lost our life. And a lot of people dead every day, women, children. And yesterday I played in Berlin concert for peace. All we all what we ask is please stop the war. All we want is to live in our country, to live in Ukraine, in Kyiv, and make future, teach children, make music, and please help us stop the war.
I'm Donna Wang Friedman. Composer Kim Sherman and I would like to add our support to the women and the children of the Ukraine with our video, Quiet Poems. The music written by Kim for solo piano and performed by yours truly. The video originally premiered on I Care If You Listen, an online platform for living music creators powered by the American Composers Forum. We hope that you will enjoy this video and we encourage all of you to support this very important cause. Thank you for listening. Hello, my name is Taras Kutsenka. I'm uh, the conductor of Jandazia Philharmonic Orchestra, Hunan, China. I grew up and worked most of my life in heart of Ukraine, one of the most beautiful cities in Europe and one of the biggest cultural centers. My heart is bleeding right now for Kharkiv, for Ukraine and the whole world. The war must stop for our children, for all of us. We need peace wherever we are. Now, like never before, we need unity, love, and music, the most powerful tools for making the world a better place. With this concert, we are trying to support the children of Ukraine and uh, we need your help.
just introducing myself. Um, I have, my name is Edith Holbrook. Um, I'm a New York resident um, and an aficionado of um, music, which I will be talking about. My career has uh, centered on international relations, running the gamut from journalism to foreign policy and beyond. But above all, I take great pride in having been one of the founders, along with S. Frederick Starr and Grace Kennan Warnicke, of the American Soviet Youth Orchestra in 1988. Given current horrific developments in Ukraine, I want to talk just briefly about the American-Russian Youth Orchestra, which I founded as an exercise in conflict resolution in which musicians who hailed from two different countries and cultures were able to put their differences, of which there were very many, uh, to work for them, and how, in consequence, their music was a stellar exercise in diplomacy. This all hit me when the musicians were rehearsing in the black box at a, for a concert at the Kennedy Center. I would left them on their own while I made a quick trip to New York City. When I returned, I headed straight to the black box, only to find them at each other's throats, <laughs> arguing to beat the band, to use an appropriate metaphor. Um, and rather than barge in to put matters in order, I decided to hold back. I hid behind the door and listened as they argued vehemently over points of the pieces they were rehearsing. Initially, it was not a pretty picture. I feared the concert was already doomed. Then, and with great poise and firmness, the concertmaster, who happened to be a Russian, stepped up, to the, stepped up to the plate and took charge, working them through a process in record time that culminated in agreement on almost all points, the show went on, and the music was magnificent. It was also far richer by virtue of the disagreements and negotiations that had fueled it. Bottom line, they turned a serious problem, namely threatening to dismantle the orchestra's performance into an opportunity. They had put their differences, and I quote again, differences to work for them, and it was pure magic. I then asked the musicians if they had ever heard of the term conflict resolution. No, they had not. Well, I said, you have just mastered it. Thenceforth, we, we added conflict resolution concerts to all of our tours. And I will close with a simple comment. There is a message in there for those on the battlefields of Ukraine today. And I will leave it at that. Hi, everybody. I am TV and radio host Rita Cosby, and I am honored to be a part of You for Ukraine, this really important event and inspiring concert. I have been covering the events of the war in Ukraine back here in the States and have also been on the front lines of many international conflicts. But what we are seeing now, 
the leveling of schools, of hospitals, of theaters is truly horrific and absolutely heartbreaking. Women and children are the targets of these vicious attacks and of all the millions of refugees that are crossing all the different borders. Predominantly, they are women and children. The scenes are gut-wrenching. And also for me, this hits so close to home. My own father was a World War II Warsaw Upriser, a freedom fighter. So I have such unbelievable respect and such deep love and affection for everybody there who is fighting for freedom. We must, at this moment, stand with Ukraine. We must do whatever we can to help the women and children who are leaving with just the shirt on their backs, with nothing, leaving their families behind, leaving for an uncertain future. Now is the time that we must support them in their darkest hour, and we must support them always. Thank you for whatever you can do. Thank you for making a difference. Just three months ago, for Christmas, a team of famous jazz and pop artists from Ukraine, the USA, Cuba, Venezuela, Russia, Italy, Germany, and China came together to create a magic song based on the Ukrainian folk chant Shedrick. We were asked to include the song in our benefit concert as a statement that the international community of jazz and pop musicians is standing together with Ukraine. It's a song for children, about peace, hope, and miracles. Today, when our hearts are going out to the children of Ukraine, we want to stand together to support them and to demand peace in Ukraine. We want to finish our concert with a strong infusion of love and hope and a belief in the power of music to perform miracles beyond any politics. Al Demiola, Leonida Gutin, Amori Gutierrez, Angelica Varum, Ed Kaye, Camille Villandia, Magic Song for Ukraine.
Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching our concert. Thank you for your donation. Every little bit does matter and goes a long way. Thank you so much, guys. Love to all of you. Love and peace. Thank all you. you. Bye.